Hello, YouTube. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for subscribing. I love you for always subscribing and for following for the old comers. How about thank you so much for the new ones? Welcome. Welcome. This is Janet Rangi here to present. I've been extremely, extremely busy. And I know sometimes probably I use this word too much. Okay. So don't judge me. Okay. Don't judge me. I use this word too much. But is it true? If there's any time in my life that this is true, this is very true. I've been so busy, guys. I've been so busy. <laughs> you have no idea, but I'm busy because of you, okay? I'm not busy because of me. I'm not busy because of my personal life. I am busy because I'm constantly helping someone somewhere to change their lives. That is my work, okay? Um, and I missed you. I haven't been coming so often, but I try to produce reels. I'm going to be producing shorts. So consider following and learning as much as you can, okay? Now, today I'm going to talk about priorities. This is how we are going to prioritize ourselves, okay? We are going to prioritize ourselves when we come to America. This is a common mistake that I've seen. And so why not tackle? If you're coming here and you're already in America, this is a good video for you. If you're planning to come, this is a good video for you. What do I mean by priority? And I'm going to mention for you three things. So stay, of course, till the end. I'm not going to make this video very long. I'm going to make it very interactive so you enjoy. And I love your comments, okay? Uh, thank you so much for coming, all of you. All right. And you are locked in and you are ready to come and listen. So I want you to think priority number one, okay? When you come to America, you need to prioritize. Because if you don't, there are a few things that will happen, okay? You might not be very comfortable. And you might think probably this is not a good place, but the truth is probably you did not make uh, a good choice. Okay. Yeah, I see some of you. Uh, Mudoni is tuned in. Blaze and Dan. Thank you so much, Dan. Dan, nice to see you again. Very nice. You have a strong desire to succeed. And that is what it takes sometimes. Okay. So. Now, having lived in the United States for many years, I've come to realize that the mistakes some of us make when we come from home, we don't set goals. Goals are very, very important, okay? And what do I mean by goals? We need to have short-term goals and long-term goals. So the first goal you have to have when it's short, it means what is bringing you to America? And you have to watch my videos to know how people come to America anyways. Okay, so your goal, is it a visiting visa? Your goal, is it a student visa? Your goal, is it a J-1 visa, H-1B, green card, and all those? We all know about that. If you are new, please watch. That is just to bring you here, okay? But your intent, of course, depends on the visa you take. Now, in the event that you come to America, I want you to enjoy the first one or two weeks, have fun, uh, actually, the first month, the first three months, you can enjoy. But in the event that you choose that, you know what, I've come to America and I see good things. I think my goal is to stay in America permanently. You need to ask that question very carefully and you need to answer that question in the first three to six months. I don't mean you have to implement, but you have to be very, very, very aware. Okay, so the first thing is to set goals. They have to be short-term goals and long-term goals. But now when you come here, prioritize. There's one thing that people forget to prioritize. They think maybe it's just a hearsay and all that. So let me give you an example of a short-term goal when people come. And I don't blame you. I was one of those people when I first came, I was just excited to come to America. I'm just ready to make money. How many of you want to come to America and make money? Most of us, our goal is to come and make money. Okay, and that is okay. You'll come and make money. But if you prioritize that alone, okay, you'll have a burnout. So let's say you come and say, I just want somewhere, go make my dollars quickly, quickly, quickly. And you know, money comes in. America is a place that you, you always have something to do. You always have work to do. You cannot miss, you know, if you need a job, you'll get a job. If you need to work extra time, you'll get extra time. If you want extra money, you'll always have extra money. And I love all of you. If I don't mention your name, I love you so much. Okay. So most people, they come and that becomes their first goal. It becomes their short-term goal. It becomes their long-term goal. And that happens now, let's say, three, uh, three years later. They're still in that rat race where in the morning, run to a shift, 
plan for afternoon shift on the other job. So one, two, three jobs over and over again. And don't get me wrong. There's nothing wrong with that. Okay. But most people after three years, they start getting tired. We can only do so much to our body. Okay. Our body also needs rest. Our body needs a job we enjoy. Our body needs to need a, a job that you can do and earn a living, sustainable living for a long, long time. So short-term goals means you're just looking at the dollar. You're just looking at the shift. You're just looking at how you will survive to get money. Okay. But you're not thinking long-term. Okay. Now let's go to the second person who is thinking long-term. You're going to prioritize a green card. That has to be in your head when you're leaving. Before you leave, on your way, and when you arrive here, the green card has to be on your mindset, okay? And it's possible even if you did not uh, get the green card the first time, you can always get it later. Do not be lied. Everyone has a way to fix the issue they have and get a green card. Do you understand? But I want you to have it in your head. Anything you do, think about the green card. That is if you want to stay here permanently. Because that will propel you to a good career, it will propel you to a good job, and it will propel you to stability. Okay, so what are some of the examples that people can do? Okay, and I know some of you are like, but Janet, you don't understand. You know, I came on a visiting visa, me, I came on a J1 visa, and I met these people, they told me there's nothing I can do about it. True, because this information is not obvious. But you have to think now that you are watching me, you have technology, you have that strong desire to succeed and you keep researching, you have to know that there are other options. Yes, oh, I am not a nurse, Janet, but I hear a green card is hard. I just have to get married. If I get to someone who is an American citizen and then we get married, maybe I get a, a, a green card. That is not a problem, okay? Most people came from home. They don't have girlfriends. They don't have boyfriends. Okay, so you can meet and mingle and that will work. Don't get me wrong. To me, it's very difficult because you have to keep a very strong relationship. So the more legitimate the relationship is, the better for you. Okay, the more legitimate, let me repeat, the more legitimate, the legit, it has to be legitimate in fact. Okay, that will work. Okay, but now let's say marriage is not an option. Okay, um, you, you don't fear persecution. You come from a stable country. You cannot come and say here, yeah, yeah, but you know, they used to persecute me for talking too much. They used to persecute me for preaching things that they don't want to hear. They used to preach uh, because my orientation is this and that. They were mistreating me because of the practices. If you don't have any of those, okay, you're not going to go, you know, the other side of asylum and all that. How, what can you do to prioritize? So change status. Change status. Okay, change your status. Okay, 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 okay. That is what I mean, priority. And I'm telling you, a big percentage of us, we don't think like that. But I don't think that we didn't want to. First of all, we did not know this lack of information. Okay. I still see it every day because if I do it for someone, if I was a family member in America, they are surprised. Because they've been here for five years or 10 years and they never knew these things I'm teaching actually exist. Okay, because as I said in some of the videos, if you come um, on a student visa, okay, the first thing when you meet people, they're like, yeah, which visa did you come with? I came with a visiting visa. <laughs> visiting visa, what's your plan? Okay, um, except one or two states you have set. Most of the states, if you come with that uh, visiting visa, people are looking at yourself, oh my God. Oh, where are you going to get your driver's license? Where are you going to get your social? Oh, my God. And then now they show you good places. You know, you're like, they have good jobs. And you can't get a social security card. You see them driving nice cars. You see them coming from nice homes. You're like, oh, my God. No one told me the benefits. Of course, Janet Rangi told you the benefits, the pros and cons. Go and watch. There are many videos, and I'll continue doing shots of this. What are the advantages? And I'll, <laughs> I better write down some of these topics as I talk. I need to do a video. What are the advantages and disadvantages of a student visa? What are the advantages and disadvantages of a visiting visa? Okay, but Janet has told you before you come the advantages and disadvantages of a visiting visa. But the good news, at least Janet has told you, if you come on a visiting visa, there are things you can do. So now those people, let's assume 
they don't know. That is why they're saying, oh my God, I'm so sorry. What are you going to do with that? You can't get a social security. You can't drive. You can't have a job. Oh, and then now you, you are like, huh, but I see good things. I'm not going to exit. Okay, so that is what I call short-term goals. You are looking at the jobs. You are looking at the opportunities. You are looking at the good homes. You are looking at the good cars. You are looking at the good life. You are looking at the good fashion. You are looking at the malls. You are looking at everything. You're like, me? Me? Exit? Okay, okay, okay. But that is a short-term goal. You are better off even exiting and coming back after thinking further. You understand? But let's say now Janet is here. Okay. If you change your mind, remember when you come on a visiting visa, the intent has to be come visit and go back. That is what you said to them. But in the event that you come, you visit. You see the words I'm using. You're visiting. You are touring. You are sightseeing. You are connecting. You are enjoying yourself. You see good things. You can come across good school programs. You can come across a piloting program and you always wanted to be a pilot. Okay. You can come across and then you're like, oh, what can I do? Janet has told you, you can actually change your status from visiting visa to student visa. What are the advantages of these two? Now, when you are home, the visiting visa looked easy because you did not have to produce a heavy bank statement. Okay. Although you had to show very strong ties at home before they gave it to you, but it was not heavy. You did not have to do TOEFL. You did not have to do IELTS. You did not have to GRE. You did not have to do credential evaluation through uh, WES or ECE. You did not have to send any reports. You just booked the appointment, did the DS-160. Voila, you got a visiting visa. The person that got a student visa had to do all those things. Now you come here, it's the opposite. The one that has a student visa now has a social security number. They can work on campus. You understand? Now, Janet has told you, you can just become like this other person. You can change status from B visa, okay, to student visa, which, by the way, people are coming and I'm doing it for them successfully, okay? So don't panic. Ah, but I don't know. It's too much. I only have six months and all that. Janet Ranky, 67 at gmail.com. Very success. I'm yet to see any complaint from that program. I'm yet to, come to meet anyone that has been denied, okay? 100% success rates. So you can actually change. So do you see that long term? I want you to pay attention and I tell you long term. It's not easy because there's a process involved, okay? There's some money involved in the process, not mine, for the school, okay? For the immigration, there's money involved. There's time involved. There's effort involved. And so sometimes that can be a barrier to some people. You understand? But long term, this is the story, okay? Visiting visa, okay, change status, okay, go to a, a, a student visa, approved to go to school, okay? Did accelerated nursing, which Janet has done, okay? If they have a first degree or done associate's degree, ended up in RN, green card. It might have taken them three years. It might have taken them four years. But in those four years, what has this person achieved? A career, reliable, good money, okay? Manageable, sustainable, meaning sometimes they can just work three weeks, uh, three days a week and they will still pay their car, they'll still pay their home, they will still save. That is what I call sustainable. That is why I say if you don't have long-term goals, you'll end up money, 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 but you'll be working two, three, four jobs. And nothing wrong with that, but after three years, after five years, most people tend to have a burnout. And if you did not plan long-term, what I go, where are you going to run to? You still have to continue doing those jobs. But if you thought like Janet, who told you, okay, that the first thing is to enjoy short-term, but in the long-term, you need a green card. What will a green card produce in another long-term goal, which is a priority now? A career. Do you see? Do you see? A career that gave you a green card. What are the advantages of that? Okay. You get to marry the right person that you like. No pressure. You can work 40 hours per week. You don't even have to work extra time. Okay. You can. No one will stop you from doing that. But that is sustainable. Do you see what I'm saying? So most people do not. And by the way, who said that you cannot have some of these other plans concurrently? To me, that is what I've seen. 
I think a very, very big percentage of our population, they make this mistake. Okay, why do they make this mistake? And let me talk about the change of status timelines. A change of status involves time because you have to get a, a admission in a service approved school. Okay, and wait for the immigration to come back and give you a go ahead. What is the go ahead? It will be a notice. I see your comments and I love you. Okay, they'll give you a go ahead and say you are now allowed to continue with F1 student. They will communicate with the school, they will communicate with you. They will not stamp on your passport. What did you come on your passport? Maybe a B visa. Meaning for you to travel, what are you going to come back in with? That is when a visa stamping becomes very important. You have to communicate to the embassy, maybe mail your passport for them to stamp what? The F1 visa. Okay, because F1, you'll be able to travel. You'll be able to go home. You'll be able now to do IT. You'll be able to do nursing. You'll be able to do engineering, whatever you wanted. Okay, but even with that student visa, once you get it, one of you, a family member, has to make use of a program that will produce a green card. Then in three, four years, the other person who has a green card, if they enjoyed teaching, they can go into teaching. If they enjoyed IT, they can go in IT. If they enjoyed any business administration, if they enjoyed social work, if they enjoyed psychology, they can go do that. Why? Because the whole family plus the children now have what? A green card. And that is what I'm saying. After the green card follows our career, so if someone chooses the pathway I'm giving you, it might be long, but in four years, they'll be set. Now they're just talking of maybe a master's, probably a PhD, maybe starting a business on the side, maybe focusing on the children. They're not no longer worrying about green cars. They're no longer about uh, worrying about traveling back home. They're no longer worrying about working and working and working and never seeing the, the value of their money. Their health is going downwards. The depression is going up. Okay, did you know depression can set up if you're constantly working, uh, driving on the roads is stressful, and you wonder why you are moody at home with your husband or your wife? It's because you've been working so hard with traffic, you know, work, they are just demanding things. By the time you come home, the serotonin is gone. The dopamine is gone. You are left empty. Now you are moody. Before you are angry. Now you are not even exercising. Now you are scared to even mingle with people. But if you do these things, I'm telling you, you look long term. What will you have? A green card and a career and stability in your family. So I want us coming, going forward, our people, when we come, we come with priorities. We look ahead. We project ahead. Okay? Is it easy? When Janet says these things, by the way, sometimes when I help you, it looks easy. It's never easy. And if, if you come here and it's challenging, understand that I really get it. But the easy things. The easy things are also easy. You never prep very good benefits. But when you put in the time and they are hard and you succeed, the fruits are usually few. The benefits are just way up there. Okay? So that was my message for today. How about we have short-term goals and long-term goals? Let us know. Let us make it intentional. You understand? Let us just have the intent. Okay, you have to have the intent when you first come in America. What is my goal? Where am I going to get this green card? And what is the career that me and fam my family are going to utilize so that in three, four years, we are a family and we are enjoying and we are not struggling? I love you back, Zippy. I love you, Isaac and Leah and Violet, okay? And Charles, okay, and Matthew and uh, Ashraf, very nice. And John, Mary, Nelias, ooh, okay? Kenneth, how are you? And Dan, Dan, I just love your, 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 your spirits. Okay? And Blaze and Muthonia had said those. Did I forget anyone? Suleiman, very nice. Okay? Um, anyone else I forgot? Ah, Jacinta, very nice. Okay, good to see you, Jacinta. Good to see everyone live. Thank you so much for coming. How about I see you in the next video? I'm going to make for you shots. Many shots. Keep watching the shots. Those are a summary. They are very quick. They will not waste your time. Okay? Muchas gracias, Asante Nizikom. I'll see you in the next video, guys. I love you so much. Subscribe. Okay? See you in the next video. Thank you so much, and bye-bye.